I respect everything everyone is saying to me, and I, I you know, I don't want to fake apologize. I don't understand how he could be that disconnected, how people around him. Whoopi Goldberg had to clench her tissue as she reached her breaking point during her career's most important legal battle. The tensions got too much for her to handle in the trial, and when the verdict didn't swing in her favor, Whoopi Goldberg couldn't control her tears. Keep watching till the end of this video to see Whoopi Goldberg break down over losing her loss suit against Jason Aldean. Whoopi Goldberg in trouble. It all started when Jason Aldean released a banger not in a small town. His track was getting much media attention and people were praising him for coming up with such a huge hit. But it was all too good to be true because Whoopi Goldberg entered the scene and practically destroyed Jason Aldean's new song on her show. You know, when you're a certain age, you use words that you know from when you were a kid or you remember saying, and that's what I did today, and I shouldn't have. When someone talked about Jason Aldean's song on The View, Whoopi chimed in and left no stone unturned in bashing the infamous singer. Despite the track becoming Billboard's number two song and trending for several weeks, she also had extreme and bitter opinions about the song. The only issue was that the video of this song was slightly controversial, and it raised many eyebrows. There were scenes with protest and police fights in the video that make this song very scandalous. But other than that, the song has garnered over 22 million views and is becoming critically acclaimed. But Whoopi's recent comments on the song made us all say yikes. She didn't just slam the song, but also the singer, Jason Aldean. According to her, the message conveyed through this song was very problematic and controversial. She thinks that there was a hidden agenda behind the music video and that it should have never been released in the first place. And she didn't just stop there. She also questioned the intentions of Jason for making one such song and promoting it to the youth. Whoopi Goldberg didn't mince any words in her criticism of the song and it didn't end well for her because Jason is now thinking about suing Whoopi for defamation. It's also being reported that Jason might argue that Whoopi bashed his new song on national TV, which affected the views and presented the singer negatively. And I've been trying to say this, this is not about race, it's about people getting their together, acting right, acting like you got some common sense. And this will not be a random lawsuit pushed under the rug by actresses. The lawsuit by Jason is going to cost Whoopi her entire career. People are now saying that Whoopi didn't go so far and this lawsuit is unjustified. But, oh boy, did she bash that poor song. Whoopi talked about the song on her show saying, He's got folks from the Black Lives Matter movement and he's talking about people taking care of each other. And I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. They were taking care of the people in their town. Whoopi Goldberg sued by Jason Aldean. The people sitting with Whoopi also didn't mince any words and bashed the song for the problematic and vague message it was sending to the people. As a lawyer, when I put my legal hat on, yeah, okay. I don't believe in censorship. Right. However, this man is from Macon, Georgia. They didn't exactly say the word, but everyone, including Whoopi, was basically calling Jason racist, and it didn't really sit well with him. The national TV segment also invited a lot of hate towards the song and artist, which reportedly affected Jason's mental health a lot. Whoopi also claimed that Jason was reportedly using Black Lives Matter to further his agenda and get on the left wing's good side. She believes that there is an entirely different purpose behind the song that Jason is trying to hide. It's been reported that Jason is on his way to filing a lawsuit against Whoopi and other people in attendance for portraying him as a racist and for negatively affecting his new song. Media outlets report that Jason Aldean is filing a lawsuit for $40 million of compensation. Besides, the segment on the show also got Jason a lot of hate and people were labeling him a racist. Some even called him out and canceled Jason Aldean. According to reports close to Jason, his legal team advised him to file the lawsuit, or this will continue to affect his reputation for years. Jason's attorney reportedly said Whoopi should own up to her mistakes and be held accountable for her words. It's not like she's going to say whatever she pleases and people will just forget about it and move on. If Jason actually decides to move on with this case, Whoopi could be in a lot of trouble, because the whole show is available online, so there's no 
lack of evidence against her. But the biggest issue is that if Whoopi loses this lawsuit, then it will raise a lot of questions about her credibility, and more people will try to sue her because she hasn't been friendly with a lot of artists. You know, something that was just sort of crapping out, you know, and I didn't really know what it was, and so it took me a while to, to realize, and even... Jason is also addressing people's concerns now because he's received much backlash. The lyrics and the video of the song refer to black people, and people are labeling it inappropriate. This isn't sitting well with Jason, who recently took to Twitter and clarified his stance on the matter. Jason revealed that the song doesn't refer to a particular group or race, and in fact, he has taken inspiration from the community he grew up with. He reportedly is very hurt because this was supposed to be a lovely and reminiscent song of his childhood, turned into something very scandalous and political. Jason blames Whoopi for that because millions of people see her show, and she wasn't cautious with her words at all. Whoopi Goldberg's Criminal Records but if you think this was the first time Whoopi got into legal trouble, you might be mistaken. A handful of lawsuits have been filed against Whoopi, but she's not learning from her past. Years ago, Kyle Rittenhouse also decided to sue Whoopi. He was the teenager who was acquitted of shooting protesters in Wisconsin. He later appeared on the Fox channel and revealed that he's collecting funds for holding people like Whoopi accountable for ruining people's lives with their talk shows. And this isn't it, because dozens of people threatened to sue Whoopi when she made the remarks that the Holocaust was never a race issue. It's the same statement that got her suspended from ABC, and even the president of the channel confirmed it. The president said in his statement that Whoopi was very hurtful to many people, so she's being suspended. He also revealed that Whoopi is deeply sorry about her remarks, but she surely didn't look sorry. The matter wasn't even about race. It started with a discussion about a school in Tennessee that has banned a Holocaust novel, Mouse. The authorities claim that the novel is too graphic and inappropriate for teens. During this discussion, Whoopi said something so bizarre that everyone was shocked. She said that the Holocaust wasn't about race because both groups were white. She later apologized for saying this and even said she stands in solidarity with all her Jewish brothers and sisters. Well, we didn't see this coming. Suddenly, she made a very obvious flip just to save face. So Whoopi already has a bad name for making everything about race, but this time people aren't letting it go that easy. Even her fans are criticizing her for the harsh words she used for Jason's new song, especially after the singer has clarified that it had nothing to do with race. Goldberg has always gotten herself in pickles like this one, and it seems like Jason is hell-bent on dragging Whoopi through the court and making her pay for what she said. And let's be honest, people also want Whoopi to pay for what she did because she never thinks about the repercussions of all the things she says. It's still unclear if she's going to win or lose the lawsuit, but as of now, Jason might actually ruin Whoopi's career with his lawsuit. Do you think Jason would actually move on to suing the iconic Whoopi Goldberg? And was she at fault for nitpicking his song and making it all about race? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, make Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you always stay on top of celebrity gossip. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.